I am proud, extremely proud, that our next generation are also learning, are continuing to learn. We see that today with their presence here. That today is truly a day of remembrance. That today is truly a day to say thank you. How important it is for us Canadians, as Canadians, to remember, to remember the folks, the people, the moms, the dads, brothers, sisters, neighbors, friends, the people that have served and continue to serve our country. How important it is to extend our most heartfelt appreciation to as well their families, some of which have also paid the ultimate sacrifice by losing a family member. Today, the city of Fort Colburn, the region of Niagara, the entire country, our nation, pays tribute to our soldiers who never came home. And we honor the veterans who did. Ladies and gentlemen, every year, we make it a tradition to call upon our youngsters throughout the community to bring forward poems to reflect their thoughts and how much they appreciate the sacrifices that our fellow Canadians have made. And this year being no different, it was a privilege on behalf of you, each and every resident, to go to call out and receive these poems. And I received one particular poem from a student from St. Tres Catholic Elementary School that I'd like to introduce to you and have her come on up and recite to you. This poem is entitled, Our Battle. It's my pleasure to call upon young Carmen Rudder to come up and recite her poem. Carmen? As the day ends, the battle goes on. We fight for our freedom. We fight very long. We stand in the fields and lay in the trenches. We go out and clean gear and come back in trenches. Some day we'll come home to our nation's land, and when that day comes, on Remembrance Day we stand. As God has foretold us, our land will be there, and God get me safe with one little prayer. For my friends that have gone, the memories will stay, and I will remember them on Remembrance Day.